Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Motivational Moments. I'm so happy to be with you today, and I'm excited about the topic, the power of now. And I thought about this topic before I realized that I had read the book by Eckhart Tolle, one of the top spiritual leaders since the 1990s. He wrote a book called The Power of Now, and it has been translated into 33 different dialects. So I was thinking about what that means. And basically, the power of now means that we shouldn't let our minds wander. We shouldn't be thinking about yesterday or tomorrow or the future because the real power, as Eckhart Tolle explains, is that the power is in the present moment. And the present moment includes the people that you're involved with, the situations that you are involved with as well, the environment, everything in the present moment moment. So many times we wander off, we start thinking about what if, or gee, what is it going to be like for Christmas? Or what is next year going to be like? Are we going to, are we going to be profitable? And we start worrying and we start thinking about things that may or may not, not ever happen. I wanted, you, I wanted to read you this quote that I found uh, by Eckhart Tolle that I think kind of sums it up and maybe will help us not do the chatter so much in our own minds. This is what he says. If you find that you do not enjoy your present, there are three activities that you can perform. You can either move away from the present situation, make a change in it, or simply accept it. Now, these three options allow you to take control of your life. By picking one of them, you are effectively taking responsibility for your life. This means that you're ready to accept the consequences of your choices. He also goes on to say, try not to complain. Hmm, that's a tough one. Because when we're unhappy, unsatisfied, or discontent, it's normal to find ourselves complaining, complaining about our environment, the people, the situation. But it's really important to kind of tone that down. Because remember, what you think about and what you talk about expands. So if you're talking about things negatively, you're going to expand that situation, make it worse than it already is. Then your subconscious mind is going to attract other situations like it that are going to bring discomfort to you as well. So it's really important that we try to stay focused on the now, try to make decisions to make our lives better based on making choices. It's all about making choices. He also goes on to say, it's funny, he says that if your current situation does not suit you, he said, there are only two choices. Number one, you can either speak up and point out the problem so that it can be solved or fixed or make the situation better. Or, hey, you leave the situation. It's just that simple. No time to be unhappy, no time to be stressed. Make the choice. And the choice is yours. And the control is yours. And I'm not saying any of this is easy because it's not. But we do have some power over the situation that we encounter. And, you know, life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. That's a quote from Lou Holtz, a famous uh, football coach. And I think many other people use that quote as well because it's true. We react to situations more strongly than sometimes the situation itself is. So we've got to think about that. All right. He goes on to say again, <laughs> the choice is yours. Stop complaining. Either fix the problem accept the problem, or leave the problem. Kind of simple, isn't it? Hmm. 
a lot of practice we have to do on that one. And finally, and this is what I preach all the time, focus on the positive things more than the negative ones. And we have control over that because nobody else can control our thoughts. We think over 60,000 thoughts a day, according to the National Science Foundation. And if half of them are negative, let's say 30,000 are negative, well, alrighty then, maybe we go to work on those 30,000 thoughts and we try to convert some of those to positive. We have a choice and that is something that we can do. He also said that when it is left uncontrolled, when our thoughts are left uncontrolled or managed, we just find our minds just filled with negative thoughts a lot of the time. And what happens is that those thoughts lead to anxiety, depression, anger, sadness, despair, hopelessness, all those negative feelings and emotions that we can help make them easier, better, or go away. At least we can try. So what he says is think positive to experience positive. Moreover, positive thinking keeps you healthy by preventing stress. And that's what it's all about. Don't we want to live a more stressless life, a happier existence, to be around people that we feel good about and situations that empower us and people that, that empower us as well? That is the secret. So that being said, please think about the power of now. Think about what's in front of you today, this minute, this second, this hour, what is it that you can do right now to make changes in your life for the positive or to just handle a situation that's uncomfortable and make it better? So I'm signing off for now. Have a fabulous day. And remember, the choice is yours. The power of now. Thanks.